we as a community were looking for protection and there was no protection. There's clearly air and water pollution in communities harming people. Hopefully the state will now get on board and start stepping up to protect its own residents. Okay, I'm Jane Worthington and I live in Mount Pleasant Township here in Washington County. My name's Lois Bauer Bjornsson and you're in Scenery Hill, Pennsylvania. My name is Patrice Tomchak and I live in Butler County. I found out about the unconventional gas drilling uh, when the energy company decided to approach our school board with a lease to drill underneath it. And the well pad was slated to go in a half a mile away from our five school district. Um, the five schools have 3,700 kids. My youngest son, who's nine years old, had leukemia. And so I am extremely concerned. I have custody of my 12-year-old granddaughter. Her name is Alexis, and Alexis has been benzene exposed. We know that in 2011, very close to our school, um, there was a pad that was put on, and that forensics lab did confirm that our daughter is benzene exposed. She has unusual and uncontrolled bruising. She's had bull's eyes. She has joint swelling. She has joint pain. The oil and gas development is now um, within a two to five mile radius of our home. We have eight to 10 well pads, and on those well pads are eight to 10 wells. Um, directly behind us is a giant well. We just got notice that they're fracking four more wells on that. To the right of us is another well that we look out our window and see, and they just took that down and they're putting it back up to refrack five more wells. Um, we have two compressor stations within a two mile radius of our house. We have a pipeline on our property. Just a lot, a whole lot. Oil was first discovered here, and then uh, coal and then steel and now wet and dry gas. So everyone's really used to it and everyone is really um, of the mentality that, well, you know, you're never going to get rid of them because they're here. However, I feel that if enough people's voices are heard, that they have to listen. My name's Dave Brown, David Brown, and I've been working in health science and toxicology for, for almost all of my career. There's no doubt that these people are, that, that there's an exposure. We find high levels of particulate matter. There's benzene and other chemicals also there. There really are not, from a toxicologist standpoint, very many surprises. What to do about them and how to ameliorate them, we're always developing recommendations to reduce the damage my name is Nadia Steinzor. Pennsylvania has the ability now to reduce pollution at its source in existing facilities and wells. And that's why we need the state of Pennsylvania to adopt really strong pollution control measures. They, they have this golden opportunity now to be a leader we need to keep our children safe. We'd like the operations to be taken out of our children's lives as much as possible.